Hey guys, it's Sean here from Cloud9 CSGO's team, and I'm going to do a quick unboxing as well as first impressions video for the new G410 Atlas Spectrum, which is basically a 10 keyless keyboard. Uh, a lot. It's very similar actually to the G910, which I have right in front of me right now. Uh, the only difference is there is no 10 keys over here. So I illuminated this area of the keyboard in orange to kind of dictate what's going to be different between the two. I actually haven't unboxed this yet, so I'm not really sure what it's going to look like. Um, let's take a look at it real quick. So here we go. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to plug it into one of my front USBs real quick, so that way we can see it illuminate. So what I did right now with my current G910 is I illuminated all the keys that I use in CS and kind of separated them accordingly <laughs> based on color, which is pretty cool. It's one of the cool aspects of uh, the G910. And similarly, this G410 is going to have the same features as that G910. So you're going to be able to illuminate your keyboard in whatever way you want. Um, you can even do like wave functions and stuff like that with the lighting. Um, but the best part about this keyboard in comparison to a lot of other mechanical keyboards is the Romer G switches, which is why I prefer it over the 710. And basically what it is, is it's similar to a mechanical keyboard switch, except it's 25% faster. Um, it's Logitech's kind of own baby that they've created for keyboards. And let's see, so I just plugged it in. So see, it's already kind of lighting up. And this is like the wave function of colors I was talking about, but since I haven't programmed it anyway, it's going to go solid blue. Um, so kind of the first thing that I want to talk about is like just basically how light and portable it is. Um, obviously, it's a 10 keyless keyboard, so it's kind of meant for tournament play and uh, basically compact areas. A large problem that we run into in FPS games is our desks are generally too small. So <laughs> we have these massive mouse pads, generally bigger keyboards, massive monitors. Um, as you can see in front of me, I have like a 24 inch BenQ monitor right here in front of me. And with five players in one room, like a soundproof room, it can get very cramped. So a 10 keyless keyboard is perfect for FPS gaming in that regard because there's five of us in a tiny area. And the more area you can kind of free up is probably optimal as far as like keyboard area goes because you want maximum area for your mouse pad and mouse movements, uh, especially if you're like a low FPS gamer like myself, Skadoodle, uh, even Shroud uh, uses like lower FPS too. So having larger amounts of area in your land, land environment can definitely help. So uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it for the initial review of the G410, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy.